Improvements in the site model continue in Vectorworks 2019. With the introduction of site model sculpting, manipulation of the site model using site modifier objects or by adding topographic contours is still possible. However, site model sculpting offers you a more freeform and intuitive way to modify terrain. This is particularly desirable for academic projects, competition projects, and the early conceptual design phases of real-world projects. We are introducing two new editing modes to the site model. Existing site model surface and proposed site model surface. These have been added as buttons to either the object info palette. Edit site model crop, edit existing site model contours, edit proposed site model contours, and recreate from source data. When choosing to edit either the existing or the proposed site model surface modes, the terrain will appear as a 3D mesh and the surface sculpting tool palette appears. You have the ability to toggle back and forth between showing the model and not showing the other objects. This feature will definitely help when you make your sculpting decisions knowing how those changes will look or interact with the other elements. The new sculptor tool allows you to push or pull part of the site model surface vertically with the option of selecting single elements like vertices, edges, or faces, or by inputting a radius where vertices are selected to various degrees with the center of the selection being the most affected and the vertices further from the center less affected. This falloff field provides you with control over how quickly or how slowly the force of the operation would fall off from the selected elements. For areas you may want added control, we've added the Add Vertex tool, allowing you to insert a new vertex on whatever tin surface you select. This enables the larger stretches of tin facets to be easier to manipulate or sculpt with greater definition. For academic and hypothetical projects, you can now start a site model from a boundary, prompting you for a grid spacing value. You'll start with a flat site model that's subdivided into rows and columns based on the spacing value. Each cell will be divided into true triangular polygons. Then you can start sculpting away freely. Where in previous versions actual contours were required, you can now effectively start from complete scratch. 